come back. Now we're going to take that for sun sound and we're going to put on the end of some words. So first we have hit, hits, hits, like she hits the ball or my brother hits me, which is not okay. Next one. Bits, 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 like that jacket fits you, but not me, probably. Or um, what else could fit? Like, oh, like in the picture with the it, he fits in a box. Um, you could, well, I don't know, you tell me. Okay, we're going to go on. Okay, time to put some combinations, two words together. Don't worry, it looks, I don't know, does it look easy to you or does it look hard? Well, the fact is it doesn't really matter how it looks. It's how you do and how you try. That's going to matter. Okay, so if you have not seen this before, that is just an insect ear at the beginning of something that we write down, okay? Uh, the beginning of a name is supposed to start with what's called an uppercase or a capital letter. And you know, you probably know by now that most letters, the, all the ABCs have a tall letter and a short letter, right? So it's just the tall letter for it. So when you read it, you're gonna go it, it, this guy is it, hits, it, hits. What is he hitting? You are right if you said he's hitting a ball. I guess it's going this way. All right, let's see what he does next. It, fit. It fits. Okay, so just because I'm reading them out loud, that doesn't mean that you are only listening. If you're listening, that's perfect, but you also got to say it, okay? And I want you to practice this on your own without me saying it. Until you feel pretty comfortable, okay? We're going to go on. I've got another page of this little story. Here it is. It sits. Your turn. Good. So that's all for that part of adding S to the end of some words. Next, we're going to review a few sounds. They might be new to you. That might just be practice. And then we're going to make some new words. See you then.